Racing, legacy of power from the inside, perfect art on the outside, and perfect art goes to the front tonight for George Brennan. Legacy of power on the inside is second. Here comes Red Bowtie and John Campbell moving on the outside from third. The big dog is fourth at the rail, followed by Village Jove emerging in fifth, Rod's Deal sixth, and Western Hero the Trader. To the first turn, they rocket and Red Bowtie gets there on top by two for Campbell in 28 seconds flat at the inside. Perfect art now racing in second. To gap of three, Legacy of Power is third, followed by the Big Dog, who's fourth at the rail. Length and a half to Village Joe, fifth at the inside. Gap of two, Rod's Deal having some trouble keeping up at the rail in sixth. Western Hero around him from seventh. As they continue on up the back stretch and making a break there, Village Joe, Village Joe went off stride. They head to the half, and it's Red Bowtie who's on top here by a length and a half. Half mile, 56 and one-fifth seconds. Right there, Perfect Art is second. Gap of two, Legacy of Power remaining at the inside is third. The Big Dog advancing on the outside fourth, now third, now second, heading towards the lead. He'll be followed up into the outer flow by Western Hero. Then it's a gap of three. Legacy of Power on the outside. Village Joe back pacing and Rod's deal. They head to three quarters. Red bow tie on the inside. The Big Dog right there at his throat in second. Three quarters in 124 and three. Here's the Big Dog on the outside. Red bow tie won't let him go by yet at the rail though. And down the stretch they come. Red Bowtie digging in at the rail. On the outside, the big dog can't get past him yet. Along the inside, Perfect Art looking for racing room. And now he's found it for Brennan in mid-stretch. Red Bowtie on the outside. Perfect Art at the rail. Red Bowtie, Perfect Art. Red Bowtie. Red Bowtie on the outside holds off a fast-closing Perfect Art. The big dog was third in 151-4. and four. First, number six, Perfect Art, second. Number three, The Big Dog, third. Number two, Legacy of Power, fourth. Five, six, three, two. Official, and into the winner's circle, here's number five, Red Bowtie. The winner of our third and final elimination tonight for the Hoosier Cup. Red Bowtie is owned by RJS Stable of New York, New York, and Craig Stephen Lipka of Crestkill, New Jersey. Trained by Joe Holloway and driven to victory by John Campbell, his second win of the night. Red Bowtie, three-year-old Bay Gelding by a raging glory out of Cheers Lomont. Five wins now in 12 starts this season. Pacing a mile in 151 and four-fifth seconds. The third win in the last five starts for Red Bowtie. All right, Pete, I'm here in the winner's circle with John Campbell, winning driver behind Red Bowtie in our third elimination of the Hoosier Cup. We'll add his name along with all of our other finalist on the board and we will be drawing that on Tuesday evening 5:30. it's open to the public anyone in the Anderson area if you're welcome to come down we'll talk about the race a little bit now go ahead and roll the replay did the delay bother your horse at all tonight no not at all he he just walked and uh, was very relaxed uh, earlier in the year he was a little hyper in the post parade but he settled down and uh, it had no effect on him at all and going behind the gate uh, were you expecting that big burst of speed from perfect art for the lead tonight well, I, I really didn't know what to expect. With, with this caliber of Colts, all of them can leave pretty good, and uh, I was just kind of playing it by ear and see what happened. And once Perfect Art got to the front, uh, I thought I had a chance to, to get crossed over without getting used too hard. And whenever you did make the lead going down the backside, I think it was just after the quarter pull, was he pretty comfortable at that point? Yeah, he was. He races very good either way. He raced well from behind the other day at the Meadowlands, and uh, he's raced in front before. And once he got to half of 56, I thought he had a pretty good chance. It must be nice to drive a horse that you can basically just do anything with. Well, that's what separates a lot of these Colts uh, from being the top of their class is, is their handiness and versatility. And, uh, you know, he's very good in that regard. And coming down the stretch, you had the big dog on the outside of you. Then you had a challenger coming up on the inside of you. Yeah, the wire came up just in time. Perfect Art got room uh, late, and, and he had some pace. Uh, my horse was getting a little bit tired and drifting out, but uh, the wire came up just, just when it was supposed to. All right, well, congratulations. Uh, fantastic performance by John Campbell here this evening. His second win on the card. We'll see him tomorrow afternoon for the Kentucky Standard Bread Sales Company Trot Series that's here at Hoosier Park. Congratulations. We'll see you next week for the big $500,000 final. Okay, thanks a lot, Tammy. Back up to you, Pete.